Good morning. Can we start tapping on the screen and make sure that we are getting going? Amen and amen. If I can just check my sound. Okay. Facebook is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Can somebody type in the comment section, no more bad advice, no more bad advice. Amen and amen. We shall receive no more bad advice. No more bad advice. Make sure you are sharing on your WhatsApp, on your timeline, everybody who needs to be here and everybody who needs to pray to God this morning, who wants the charged up week. We are ready. We are ready to go. Type in the comment section, no more bad advice, no more bad advice, no more bad advice. Amen. Hallelujah. There is something that bad advice does. Bad advice has the habit of bringing tears to our lives. Hallelujah. But the Lord has sent me with a prophetic word this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The Lord says there shall no longer be bad advice. Hallelujah. He says my people who live in Jerusalem will not weep anymore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Miss M. Hallelujah. My people, Hala Karaba, Shoto Kudia Basi, Rojiga da Manda Libra Kuskata Maeshi, Lako Soto Kudia Basunda. You people who live in Jerusalem, you people who woke up to come to the protocol breaking prayers, you people who have come, you have come with your tears. Somebody made you cry, somebody gave you bad advice. It is time for no more tears. Hallelujah. The Lord says he is going to make sure there shall no longer be weeping in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you help me tell your neighbor no more bad advice and no more tears? Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is compassionate when you cry to him, he will answer you. And therefore this morning, Father, we have woken up to this protocol breaking prayer platform to say, Lord, wipe away our tears. We have been victims of bad counsel and we know that we will be safe in your wings. Hallelujah. We are looking unto God for safety this morning. It can no longer be business as usual. Something has to change. Our approach must change. Our lives must change keep on tapping on that screen make sure you are you are tapping those likes remember what i always say every like is a soul in the kingdom of god every like is a depopulation from the kingdom of hell so we are going to make sure that we are depopulating hell we are populating heaven with the souls for jesus hallelujah somebody needs to know that there shall no longer be no more tears and i want you to continuously declare in the comment section no more bad advice no longer will we be subjected to bad counsel. We've seen great men in the word of God that have been trekking with God, but for some reason, talk to me somebody, for some reason, they were confronted with situations that could have ended with them being in tears. Hallelujah. There are two ways, uh, previous tears that want to continue. God knows that there are things that have been making you cry and they are persisting. They want to continue. The Lord will stop it for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Lord wants to stop it. Tears that are being currently programmed to continue. The Lord wants to stop them. A good example, when you trek with the word of God and you see David, uh, when he was, uh, 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 the story of David at Ziklag, a mighty man of war cried. Uh, so so I want to encourage somebody and say, do not be afraid this morning. If you want to cry, cry. If David cried, hallelujah. The Bible says that he was a made mighty man of war, but he cried. And the Bible says that he cried until he could weep no more when he came to Ziklag. Hallelujah. At that moment, everything looked bleak. At that moment, everything looked so bleak and also hopeless. Uh, from that story, we understand that the Lord that we serve is able to stop ongoing tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is giving somebody an insurance this morning against future tears. Can you tell your neighbor, encourage them and say no more tears in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the same way that David 
after he, he, he returned, hallelujah, and his men arrived back at Ziklag. And when the Amalekites were trying to raid, they raided the southern of Judah and they had attacked Ziklag. They had burned down the city. They had taken their wives and their children and people were threatening to kill him. Hallelujah. People were conspiring to kill him. People were spreading wrong advice and say, if it was not for this man, I want to encourage somebody and let them know today, I don't care what they are plotting against you. I don't care who's advising them. I don't care who is trying to make as if they are carrying authority, but the Lord will protect you. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to protect you like he protected David in you. If you encourage yourself this morning, the Lord is going to protect you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this morning. I thank you for everybody that has risen, oh God, uh, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we rose to receive the counsel of your word. Uh, we rose because we know that our name will no longer be uh, amongst those of those uh, who will be associated with sorrow this year, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every day that we go out in this month of June and beyond, uh, together with our families, we will not arrive back to pain in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not fall into the hands of men with bad counsel. We will not fall into the hands of men who are plotting our downfall in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that everybody that has arisen this morning will arrive at their joy, joyful place. Uh, there shall be joy in their home, in their business, and in their community, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are coming back from this protocol breaking prayer session this morning, there shall be joy. There shall be joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There shall be joy in your spirit. There shall be joy in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere they are planning to raid you, whatever they are, whoever they are, the cohorts of hell, whatever they are thinking, whatever they are thinking of de distracting you about or taking away from you, my God, my God, I declare there shall be no more loss says that uh, God will terminate all of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Lord is going to cap make you capture proof. Your children shall capture, shall be capture proof. Hallelujah. Your children shall not be captured by bad advice and bad counsel. You shall not be captured by bad counsel. You will not be uh, captured into captivity. You are capture proof. Uh, nobody is going to lead you into captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, your business shall not be captured in the name of Jesus Christ. Your joy shall not be captured in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, when you trek with me in the Bible and you meet a man called Atiho Atihofel, he was the master strategist who rebelled against David and joined Absalom when he gave a counsel and, 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 and it was bad cancel hallelujah so this morning we are going to charge against bad cancer we are going to pray against the spirit of ahitophel hallelujah the bible tells us that any advice that ahitophel gave in those days was accepted as though it was the very word of god so he was an influential man he was a strategic man that anytime he gave counsel they followed it both david and absalom followed the man's counsel without question hallelujah when david was told though uh, somebody is going to raise a voice uh, even in the enemy's camp somebody is going to come through and bring you the news where they've been gossiping about you where they have been trying to give bad counsel to bring you down where they've been giving bad counsel and congregating that they are going to bring you down that they're going to bring you down that the letter of success the devil is a liar hallelujah somebody there's a voice somebody there's a helper who will come uh, because because of your morning this morning, you woke up and you said, oh God, give me counsel. Lord, I cry for help. Open up my eyes against any Ahitophels in my life today. I rise this morning to declare that I shall no longer be a victim of bad advice in the name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of bad advice that is disguised as good advice in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says when he was told Ahitophel had joined the rebellion of Absalom, hallelujah, the Lord turned the counsel of Ahitophel into nonsense. Talk to me, somebody. Some of you, we are going to go deeper. I'm going to show you your friends that have been giving you wrong advice, that have been moving with the spirit of Ahitophel. Today, they shall no longer be bad advice. We are bringing them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare to those who have risen this morning, everybody.
the sound of my voice, at the influence of my voice, uh, every advice that has been given to cause us tears this year, let it be turned to foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every advice that you have been given, uh, that is the wrong advice. Uh, let it be turned into nonsense. Let it not add up. Their plans will not add up. Let it not hold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I come against every meeting that has been arranged, uh, every gathering, every consultative meeting against our destiny. Lord, I command it to be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I wish you could declare and pray along with me as fast as I'm declaring this. Uh, I wish you could tap in and say amen in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, your amen must stand aloud. Uh, you need to understand that there is nothing that the Lord cannot do. Hallelujah. What God cannot do does not exist and therefore the Lord is here this morning to turn around uh, the council of uh, Ahitophel against you. Sunda. It is going to be turned into foolishness. Uh, I don't know what friends you thought were friends. I thought I don't know what family members you thought have got your back, but God is going to expose those people and he's going to turn their counsel against, you know, as foolishness, as nonsense. That nonsense will stop today. No more nonsense in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that this year, oh God, you will not be a victim of demonic arrangements. I don't know what they've been plotting against you, but you will no longer be a victim of a demonic arrangement. The Lord will make sure that he keeps you one step in advance all the time in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, my father, my father, let every advice or principle that I have been following religiously all this while, but it has been designed to cause me tears unknowingly. Open our eyes, oh God. I don't know what you have been following. You have been following somebody's counsel and advisor. Even when you address something, go masunda. They like shonda because they don't want you to get recognition in the name of Jesus. Oh Holy Spirit, let me tell shonda. I want to teach this before I get into into exposing certain things in certain people's lives. Father, keep me go rabashiola masende. Oh my God, Father, thank you. We will not become victims of demonic advice. Any demonic arrangement, Lord, keep us a step further from it, oh God. We are one step ahead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, I decree and I declare that every advice, every principle that we have been following religiously all this while, but we have been, that it has been causing us tears knowingly or unknowingly. We didn't realize that there are people who are stabbing us in the back. Father, we ask you, Lord, that you illuminate it for us, Lord, in our spirit, man, oh God, open our ears and open our e eyes, oh God. Let us not miss it, oh God. Let us be sharpshooters right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that our spiritual ears and eyes are open, they are sharp. Our mind are there. Our spirit of discernment is sharp and sh is shooting straight up, oh God, against any Ahitophel in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help me declare it in the comment section again and say no more bad advice, no more tears, no more bad advice, no more tears, hallelujah, my God, my God, I decree and I declare that every Ahitophel that is around us that has been causing you pain and tears, the Lord is going to arrest them and the Lord is going to confuse them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to expose every Ahitophel in your life in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak against the spirit of busy bodies who do not I want to allow your life to, to be focused, I speak against the spirit of busy bodies uh, who do not want to uh, what you they don't want to allow you to progress in life uh, they don't want the projects of your life to be fruitful they don't want you they have assigned uh, to themselves uh, as a lifetime project that they want they want to bring you down uh, in the name of jesus christ uh, father i decree and i declare they shall have no time the lord will scatter them in the name of jesus christ mm. Not long after that, the Ahitophel said to Absalom, let me choose 12,000 12, 12, men and tonight I will set out after David. I will attack him while he is tired and discouraged. He will be frightened and all these men will run away. I will be, I, and I will be only the only king and then bring back all his men to you like a bride returning to her husband. You want to kill the only one man. The rest of the people will be safe in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that this seems like 
like a good advice. Absalom was listening to this and it seemed like good advice. And all the Israelites leaders that were listening, hallelujah. Absalom said, now call Hushai and let us hear what he has to say. Hushai, I, I added, it says, quick now, send a message to David not to spend the night at the river crossing in the wilderness, but to cross the Jordan at once so that he and his men will not all be caught and killed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Are we still tracking together? Somebody type it again. No more bad advice. The Lord is raising a voice in the enemy's camp that will fight for you. The Lord will raise an, a, a, a voice in the enemy's camp that will come and give you warning on time. Hallelujah. My God, my God, send me a helper who will be a spy for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Even from within the enemy's camp. Oh, the camp of the enemies who do not want my progress. Oh God, raise a help for me. Somebody raise that prayer point with me and pray along with me. My God, my father, my father, raise for me that help that I need from the enemy's camp in the name of Jesus. Hushai was not there when the great Ahitophel was advising. It was Absalom and Ahitophel that were listening to all this advice that was nonsensical. Hallelujah. That Sonda Kiaba Sonda. But God said there shall no longer be weeping. David, you will not weep. I'm here to decree and declare and prophetically say to you at the sound of my voice, uh, they shall no longer be weeping, regardless of what they have plotted and what they have gathered themselves to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the message that you need in good time will arrive. Hallelujah. The message that you need in good time to prevent you from falling into the pit or, or going into the grave of God, uh, it will arrive on time. Hallelujah. You will avoid disaster at the right time in the name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer weep, Queen, in the the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there shall be no more tears. Uh, no more tears in the name of Jesus. Anaga Bengele. I decree and I decree no demon, no principality, no power will block your good news this year. No no demon will block your good news uh, this month of June. No, no demon, no principality will block your good news uh, this day and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, as we enter into the covenant with you today, uh, send us uh, the help uh, that will help us avoid disaster in Jesus mighty name ahead of time. Let us be a step ahead of the devil and his devices in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, in your own way. Let every agent of pain, let every agent of tears concerning me, make them jobless, oh God, make them useless, make them jobless. Any agent of pain, any agent of tears that has determined that I will cry, my God, make them useless, make them jobless, make them even miss their gathering times in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree it and I declare it again. I shout it out to those whose spirit is open, who are ready to receive it. I say there shall be no more tears because no no bad advice is coming your way. And even if they have gathered for that bad advice, oh my God, the Lord is turning it into foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do I have believers who are shouting and believing amen? Can somebody shout it again and say no more tears, no more bad advice, no more tears. Oh, Kariyama Sunda, I see the Lord permanently wiping away your tears in the day of challenges. Let your strength not fail, child of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tears from setbacks that have exhausted you and that have told you that you will not move forward. My God is turning them into joy right now. I don't know what tears you have been crying and for how long you have been crying about these tears. Uh, that those tears that have said uh, you have been stripped of your power to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare those tears have been turned into joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today, this morning, you are receiving the encouragement from the throne of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let every tear drop that I have shed. Oh Kariyama Sonda, I hear the Spirit of the Lord says for every tear that you have shed, the Lord says you will recover all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody shout it again? Oh Kalaba Sonda, no more tears, no more bad advice. My tears have been wiped away. I'm moving into a position of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout no more bad advice in the name of Jesus Christ. You are moving away from bad advice. Let me break this down. 
If you are coming in just now, know that we are ca- we are praying against the spirit of bad advice. We are ca- praying against the spirit of Ahitophel. Hallelujah. The spirit that makes people land in pain. The spirit that makes people go into tears. We have wiped it away and we will continue to wipe it away. We are fighting. We are contending for our joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kariyama Sende, let every bad advice from our life be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. We will no longer be received receiving cancel kadiyama sonda kiaba sonda that is bad that is making people plot against us that is making people plot our death in the name of jesus in our state they will die instead in the name of jesus christ kore shikunda you understand that child of god this type of cancel comes from people who are close to you this kind of cancel comes from people that you actually trust Cancel, if you look at the word cancel, it is advice that provides a consequence after a consultation. If you are consulting with somebody and they give you advice, there is an expected action that you are going to take. And that action may either lead you to good or bad. I don't know what kind of counselors have been surrounding you. When we don't know what to do in certain scenarios in our life, inevitably we start looking for people who have gone through the experience or who have got counsel for us. We start seeking the counsel of other people and sometimes we seek the counsel of friends we seek the counsel of confidence but sometimes we just need to look up to god and say god this one needs your counsel even if you have sought the counsel of friends or family members you need to check that counsel whether it aligns with the will of god if that counsel does not align with the will of god you need to shake off that nonsensical counsel in the name of jesus christ and when we look at the friends and the experts that we consider around us when these folks give us advice that could either neither be excellent, it might not sound negative, but it doesn't sound like the bad option, but sometimes we are tempted to just follow it, and sometimes we follow it. It might cause more harm, though, than good. Hallelujah. So it can also lead us astray, and that is why we need to be careful. Tell your neighbor, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Heed the advice that you get in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't just just follow it blindly in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil is busy, children of God. God. He having he has busy days. He never rests. Hallelujah. He's busy going to and fro around the planet today. He uses people to give us bad advice. And it sounds like good advice. Do you know that bestie, that best friend, your BFF, and you are sitting with them and they are telling you that, oh no, this person is actually a bad person. And you did not realize that they are actually moving you away from your future intended destiny husband. God had already brought your husband, but because of an evil counsel from your friend and who planted wrong seeds and wrong advice and gossip and told lies. Now you don't go and get married. Your marital settlement has been delayed. I need you to understand the depths and the the, the, the extent of uh, uh, the spirit of Ahitophel, how it can hinder you. You are ready for an opportunity. Business is waiting to be executed. Somebody comes to you and say, are you sure? What if it does not work? Why do I not have friends who are positive and says it could work? What if it works why are you the only one that is always giving me bad advice and negative advice and telling me that things cannot work but you don't even give me the right advices why you think it will not work or you cannot work with me to show me how it will work somebody shouted once again no more bad advice no more bad advice in the name of Jesus Christ. It is one of the agendas of the devil, the evil agendas that are going back and forth in our world, in our lives, around people. Hallelujah. The devil is extremely good at exploiting people around us, exploiting situations around us that look like they are good advice, but they're actually bad advice. Somebody shouted again, no more bad advice in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of the children of God have left the appropriate place to seek the counsel, good counsel, because many of us, we feel like God is silent. We don't want to go to God, but we actually need to go to God first. Somebody shout God first. Go to God first. Many people have left the guidance post. There is a post, there is a place, there is a meeting room, there is a boardroom where God is still waiting for you. God is waiting for you in your closet place, space that you're going to come and seek advice. Hallelujah. But we have gone the way of the world because we think we are going to consult 
of the people of the world. We have forgotten that we do not live with the manual of the world, but there's a manual of God. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody shout it again. No more bad advice. Evil advice will continue to flourish everywhere. Hallelujah. If we do not stop the trend of going to the world for advice or looking at the world for the experiences and their and their agendas, and we are thinking that they are the template that we are following. You are not of this world, children of God. Remember, you are not of this world. You are born of God, and therefore you are a God. You are set apart. You are more than a conqueror. You need to understand it is God first. The Lord says, I must remind you, and he said, fortune, the evil will continue to flourish, but today it stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to go back and return where we obtain appropriate counsel. I think it is in the book of Psalms. He says, blessed is the man that does not sit in the counsel of the ungodly. Hallelujah. It means we must not even entertain to sit around people who are talking rubbish and nonsense, people who are talking things that they have no business talking about. Why would you advise me about being a billionaire when you are yourself? You are not even a thousand years. Oh, Jesus. Why would you advise me on how to keep my marriage except you are working with the anointing of God? And, and and it is the oil of God speaking. The devil is a liar. I will not sit in the council of the ungodly. Do you understand? that your friend, no matter how much they can say they love you, they want to be better than you. So you need to take that advice with a pinch of salt and you need to test the waters. You need to test that spirit. Is it coming for a good place? There are those who wish you good, but secretly even sometimes they will tell you you look good, but you don't actually, you needed to revise yourself. You needed to go to the mirror. You know that you were not appropriately dressed for that meeting. But let me leave that again. But you women, you understand what I'm saying, what I'm talking about, be careful who's around you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are returning to the appropriate place of godly counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. Children of God, let heed this warning. Many people have made serious mistakes in life as a result of evil counsel. Most destinies have been derailed as a result of evil counsel. Somebody shout in the comment section, no more evil counsel. Most destinies have been unsuccessful. Successful lives went and hit rock bottom because of evil counsel. Men sought the counsel of men and the devil polluted their minds, causing them to give wrong counsel and destinies were destroyed. I decree and I prophesy this morning that your destiny shall not be destroyed. You shall not be heeding the counsel of evil men in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your success shall not be derailed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Most times we seek the counsel from friends and co-workers who are actually jealous of our success and we view it and as an opportunity. Carry but it is actually a setup to destroy you. Talk to me, somebody. May God keep us safe from malicious advice in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord keep you safe from malicious advice from your enemies who are coached as if they are your friends in the name of Jesus Christ. We have witnessed time and time again how a bad friend advisor damaged Absalom's wonderful destiny. Absalom was obviously having a beautiful destiny. He did not have to plot to kill his father. He paid for it for it with his princehood and life. Look at that. He did not have to die. He did not have to lose his seat. Be careful of evil advice that will dismantle you. We, when you track with me in the word of God, we see, we witness how King Rehoboam rejected the counsels of his father's elders in favor of those who grew up with him. He didn't think the elders has better advice. Hallelujah. And how that one decision one decision terminated his reign in Israel. The list is endless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why this morning I say we have to pray against the counsel of evil counselors. Hallelujah. We have to cancel their, their advice. We are canceling the bad advice from evil counselors who want to make us miss our reign, who wants to make us miss our princehood or our kingship in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, oh Lord, thank you Jesus that 
the cancel of the wicked is being destroyed this morning. It is being canceled. It is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our father understood from the beginning that man's heart is wicked and it is envious, which is why he sent us the Holy Spirit to become our counselors. He foresaw God knew that the counsel of friends can truly be wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. When you check with me in the word of God, when we go to Romans chapter, how am I doing for time? I'm still good. Okay, I'm almost there. Hallelujah. Romans 15, 4 says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. For whatsoever things that were written aforetime, even God, before you were born, before you came into this world, God knew it. Talk to me, somebody. Whatsoever things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. Oh, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we might have hope through the consolation of scriptures. Everything that the word of God is sending to us this morning has sent for our consolation, has sent for our equipping, has sent, has been sent so that we gain hope in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything written in the scriptures is, is written to instruct us and guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. It is written to show us the path that we are going to move forward. Tell your neighbor, I'm moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody who sought guidance from God made a mistake. You will not make a mistake as you continue to seek the Lord guidance. Hallelujah. We will not seek the guidance from evil men. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord's instruction is what we will follow in the name of Jesus Christ. We saw how God set a template of different men and women in the Bible. Abraham, Isaac, David, and Jacob all demonstrated this that anytime they followed the direction of God, they did not make the mistake in the name of Jesus Christ. When they opted to heed their own advice, they constantly encountered mistakes and a snag. So anytime you are trying to move by yourself alone without consulting and involving God, that is when you miss your step in the name of Jesus. But thank God they quickly learned when you return to the steps that are ordered by the Lord, then you, cons you constantly begin to enjoy pleasant journeys, pleasant counsel. Hallelujah. When you come back to the path where God has ordered your step, pleasant lines are falling unto you. Hallelujah. You walk in heavenly places. Says, hallelujah, you, 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 you are enriched in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout it again. No more bad advice in the name of Jesus Christ. As Christians, the Holy Spirit is the best advisor that you can ever have. I said the Holy Spirit is your finest advisor that you can ever have. There is nothing that you require extra than the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That is the kind of spirit that will confirm whether the people around you are genuine or not. The kind of people who are around you, are they genuinely giving you the right counsel in the name of Jesus Christ? There is no guidance that the Holy Spirit cannot supply. Anything that you need is wrapped up in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He is the one who reveals to us what is to come. He is the one who reminds us of what we need to accomplished. Talk to me, somebody. The Holy Spirit is the perfect personification of a wise counselor that you need. He's the perfect advocate. That is why the Bible calls him. He's the advocate. He's the one that advises you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every believer who receives the Holy Spirit makes, is, 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 is ensured that he's, he will be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit today. May you receive a heavy baptism of the Holy Spirit today. May you receive a heavy counsel from the Holy Spirit today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We must seek the Holy Spirit's advice and we must seek the Holy Spirit's guidance in order for our life to be beautiful, in order for our destiny to be accomplished. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kariaba Sonda. Oh, Holy Spirit. Is somebody ready to pray this morning as we close? My God, my God, begin to speak in tongues as you charge up your spirit. I want you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now because what you're going to unleash is a, a, is a ballistic prayer like never before. Oh my God. Somebody shouted again, no more bad advice. No more bad advice. Fortunate, no more bad advice in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for supporting us all these years. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you for 
for your love and care. Thank you for seeing us through to this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for protection and direction over our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for safeguarding us from the wicked ones and all the wicked advisors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout that amen well. Shout that amen louder. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come this morning with a, a, with a repentant heart. We ask for forgiveness, oh God, for our sins and we ask for pardon and grace, oh God. We ask for pardoning for any time we have followed the counsels of Ahitophel against your advice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, we plead the blood of Jesus over every sin, every time we have missed our steps in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that we have done that has prevent, prevented our prayers from reaching you or having them answered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we extend our repentant hearts to you this morning. We are asking for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have come to the throne of grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to ask you that you extend your hand today for assistance in destroying every wicked counsel against our life, against our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to receive. The Lord is extending his hand right now towards you on Facebook, YouTube, and on TikTok. Right now, the Lord is extending his hand. He's extending his hand to you right now. You are receiving the assistance to destroy any wicked counsel from Ahitophel in your life. I don't know what is the wicked counsel you might have received already in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That wicked counsel against your life and your destiny shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, uncover and destroy every wicked counselor in my sphere. Whoever is having a grip on my life, whoever is that wicked counsel, whoever is that person, my God, that has been giving me wicked advice, that person who has been planting wicked gossip and wicked advice in people who are supposed to favor me right now in the name of Jesus Christ, uncover them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. By your word, oh God, Father, we reject and heed Makodia Masunda. We heed your counsel and Lord, we reject any, uh, the, the, the heeding of any advice that is bad. We decree and declare this morning once more again, we say no more bad advice, no more bad counsel, no more evil counsel. No evil counsel shall work in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the Lord saying that I am concealing you from every hidden counsel. You can come and hide in the shadow of my wings in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be touched by any wicked counsel, any insurgency of the works of the devil, of the work of the of wickedness, that you shall be shielded from it in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, we rise this morning to decree and declare that we come against any advisor that would counsel us against God and his will for our life in the name of Jesus Christ. By your word, my Father, my Father, we scatter every wicked advisor in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you shouting that amen well i say scatter every wicked advice call unto your god cry unto your god who says i will wipe away your tears he says they shall no longer be weeping weeping that you there will be no more tears because that result uh, from from wicked advice they shall no longer be tears no more tears from wicked advice no more tears from evil advice no more tears from bad advice in the mighty name of jesus christ oh mo oh kaliama sonda i cast away every spirit of evil counsel that is at work in our lives and in our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for those who are gifting in Jesus mighty name. Karaba Shekia Masonda. Father, we receive the counsel, the spirit to walk in the counsel of God, the counsel of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every fire destroy every agent of bad counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil, any agent of, of the devil that has been assigned to derail us from the road that will lead us to a magnificent life. Father God, let them be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, that you have converted every Ahitophel cancer in our lives to folly. It will be foolishness in every direction in the name of Jesus Christ. By your strong hand, O God, you have destroyed every single evil Ahitophel advisor in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, every bad person shall be scattered and they will catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. Anybody that has been giving you bad advice, advisor, hidden as if they are your friends, but they're actually your backstabbers in the name of Jesus. I need somebody to understand that some of these Ahitophels are actually siblings. Some of these Ahitophels that you are praying against right now are even, it can be a parent. Oh, Jesus. I just said something there. Mm. 
Oh my God. Somebody say no more bad advice. No more bad advice. I don't know why the Lord stopped me there. Hallelujah. That type of counsel that looks too sweet. And you trust it because it's coming from your siblings. The Lord says I must caution. Mm, 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 mm. The spirit of the Lord says. It is possible that even your father. I know this might sound shocking to some of you. Mm. Your own father, your own mother can be used. Mm. The scripture is in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11. The Bible says, if not for the insistence of the prophet Samuel, Jesse would have preferred to leave David in the bush. I don't know how many of you remember the story. When Samuel came and asked for the sons of Jesse, he had a message from God. And he asked, David's father was there. And the answer was, all the children were there. But the one who was supposed to get the prophetic manifestation, the one that was supposed to get the right advice or the right appointment, the one who was supposed to be anointed as king was in the bush tending to the sheep. I don't know if I'm communicating. Those of you who are spiritual and you are Bible scholars, you know, you, you, can, you can trace me, right? Jesse's counsel was... Let's make use of the ones that are here and forget the youngest one that is in the bush. Are we tracking together? Can, can, can you just give me, I know we were praying, we were about to close. I need, I, need, I need to show you because I'm confirming something to somebody. There's somebody who's listening to me right now on, on this platform. The problem is that your parent left you out. It is your parent that chose to leave you out. It was not because God did not show up. So when Jesse was asked, are your sons complete? Jesse says, no, 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 no. Whatever you want to say, prophet, say to the ones who are here, let's deal with this one. That one is in the bush. It's no problem. But God arose and he defeated that cancer. If the prophet Samuel did not follow the instructions of God, David would have missed his opportunity. David would have missed his anointment. David would have missed his appointment. Many have been the subject of delay because sometimes, not sometimes, they were specifically, your delay was caused by your parent. Oh my God. It's painful, I know, but I have to say it. I pray for you today. Every evil counsel from your father's house, it is defeated now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil counsel from your father's house, it is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, some have been your, your marital settlement was defeated because they chose to choose one of your siblings while they came to ask for your hand in marriage. Ah, some people, oh, Holy Spirit, let's go there. Your issue was your mother. Because your mother had an unfavorable experience. Because your mother had a travailing moment. The council of Ahitophel arose. Evil pronouncement arose. Just because your mother had a bad experience. And the Holy Spirit is reminding me of the story of Jabez. 
o chika la baya kusotoku in the book of first chronicles i don't know somebody find me the scripture first chronicles ikabot ikabot means glory has departed because of somebody's travail Ikabot began in Jabez's life. But God had to intervene. There was a genesis of evil counsel because of the travailing of the pain that this woman had gone through. Thank God for intervention. Jacob named him Benjamin. Because of the pain that your mother went through, they will even give you a name that expresses their pain. My God, my God. So what am I saying? I'm saying one problem or the other may have pushed your mother into entering into evil covenants. And through that entering into an evil covenant, Evil counsel may have been uttered into one's destiny, thereby it's causing problems in your present life because your mother was desperate at that point and consulted the wrong people and wrong advice. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody declare and decree, I will no longer be a victim of bad advice. No longer a victim of bad advice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're still good for time. Don't worry, we left with 10 minutes. But I just needed to digress and say this. Let me make sure I see all the comments. You will no longer be a victim of bad advice. That is why I'm saying we need to check. I speak against any evil advice from your mother's house, from your father's house, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every counsel that has been operating in your life right now, that is evil. The spirit of Ahitophel, the spirit of wrong counsel from your mother's house, let it be blotted out by the power in the blood of Jesus right now. Let it be blotted out by the power in the blood of Jesus right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, let me teach this very quickly. Give me five minutes, I'm done. Your brothers and sisters may be the orchestrators of the wrong cancer. I have seen this. I have heard it. I have, I have seen the testimony of it. Your own brothers and sisters. We don't have lack of example. Even in, thank you, Barasa. Even in the Bible itself. If they can plot for your own your own brother to land in a pit. So the counsel of Ahitophel can even extend in families. For example, Joseph was our example. They saw that this guy is destined for the future. They plotted to sell him. They plotted to kill him. Hallelujah. Shall you indeed reign over us? They can't, uh, they can't accept that you are the head. There are some people in your families, although you are not the firstborn. Can I say this? You are the actual one who's carrying the spiritual authority in your family. And some of your siblings know this. Even though you are younger, they, 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 there is a way that the devil can even send his agents to actually wake them up to say, she or he is the one in charge. There are some firstborns that have lost it. They, they, they have lost the right to be the covering of the family, to be in charge of the family. Oh my God. Apostle Mara has taught deeper on this subject. But as, as, as you can relate, Lelomo. Mm. They are not in charge. It's not the elder one that's in charge. 
You might be the actual one that is in charge. You are the one. You are the one that is carrying the family. It is your prayers that are carrying the family. My God. You are just doing out of respect and saying, Malume, uncle, blah, 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 but you are the one. They even know. And that's why they're jealous because even your parents, if your parents are spirit-led, they know. They can't take any step without consulting you. You are not the firstborn, but even your family members, your parents know they can't take a step without consulting you because you are the one holding the spiritual scepter. You are the one that is protecting that family. You are the one whose advice. Oh, Kale Ashukataka. Maggie, thank you for confirming. That is a prophetic word for you. Hey, Jesus. They might fight you, but today you need to come. You need to pray constantly because that thing can lead people to want to kill you. Some are amazed that even when the parents pass on, the, 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 the wealth or the inheritance, the will did not leave their name. They said this house is going to be left in so-and-so's name and your siblings are shocked. Why was this left to this one's name? There is a reason. There is a spiritual order that God cannot dis disorganize. God will follow that order. I can tell you proof positive. The Holy Spirit will follow the order. They might try to fight you, but something is going to court here. But Queen, thank you. Oh, Jesus. I almost finished because I, the Lord told me that this is, needs, to, needs to be corrected. This error must be corrected. They were, they were jealous, this dreamer, Joseph, who says he's going to reign over us. He says we're going to bow down to him. They said, let us slay him. Let us cast him into the pit. They want to cast you into the pit. They are, they are plotting. They, they can't. The more they plot, they can't even understand why you even bought a car in the first place. When you took your car thinking you are going to celebrate and show them that you have progressed in life. Hey, hey, look at my car, celebrate with me. Look at me, I'm buying a house. Meanwhile, inside they are dying. They are looking at the way that they will shame you. Ah, am I communicating? If you guys want me to shut up, it's okay, I'll go. Some of you, they want to shame you with your own children. The reason why your children are under attack, it is not the fact that the devil is fighting your children. Because, no, they are fighting you through your children. My God. Your children are suffering. At, so anytime you choose not to fight for your children, you need to pray and you need to fight. Yes, gracious, you might be the youngest, but they are fighting you. You now start wondering why your child comes home and says, Mommy, I can't see. Every time I look at the book, I'm seeing blurriness. Anytime you come and say, oh, my child, you, you come with a report card. Oh, my children did so well. Look at them. They got straight A's. And you think they're happy? My God, the devil is a liar. My God, my father, my father, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, queen. Your children will not die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You, the reason why you came upon this broadcast this morning, now I understand why the Lord had me go into this message. You, 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 this is your intervention moment. Let me leave it there so that I can, I can, I can finish. It is because, it is because, Father, we cover Queen's children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They wanted to deplete you, Queen. They wanted to deplete you. They want to deplete your resources. They want to make sure that you don't recover. They are fighting your progress. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fortunate. I speak right now by the authority and the oil on my head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak as I pray for fortunate. I pray for every child that is currently sick. That sickness that is undescribable, that sickness that is demonic, that has been sent to the children to shame their parents. Right now, I command the healing to come to them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Gracious, you can forgive them, but you need to stay clear of them. 
Some of you need to help. I, I, I can't. There, there's a prophetic word that I gave somebody two days ago. And I believe it's relevant from some of you. Some of you, when you go to these gatherings, you need to stop eating. It's very difficult. Some of you, your children were attacked during funerals. You went for a funeral and your children were attacked during the funeral because children eat anything and everywhere. The devil is a liar. You won't stop a, a, a fighting medical aid because they can't touch you. No weapon fashioned against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Yes, then we, we refuse. Pray for those kids. They don't know anything. They are suffering because of you. Because you bought the house. You bought the car. And I'm not saying stop. Go and buy. Go and progress. Oh, Jesus. Now they say if we can't get to her, let's make her busy with her children. Let's make sure we deplete her finances through her children or his children. The devil is a liar and so is his mother-in-law. Oh, Jesus. They have forgotten. God said, take counsel together and it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand for God is with us. Hey. They may plot to, 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 to bring you down. I hereby decree in the name that is above all other names. Every evil counsel against you shall crumble. Every evil counsel against you shall crumble. Whether it is from your siblings, whether it is from your mother and father, it shall crumble in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil counsel shall crumble. Hey, God, my God, my God. There are even spiritual leaders that you are calling Papa and Mama. Can I talk? Do you allow the Holy Spirit to speak? Can I talk? If you want me to talk, let me talk. If you want me to close, we have, we've done our hour. I can close now. And we just pray. Can I talk? Is the yes that I talk? There are spiritual leaders who can present themselves as Ahitophels in your life. They are the one. Somebody's problem is your spiritual father and your spiritual mother. Oh, Jesus. They misrepresent. They, they, they misrepresent the spiritual leading. They make as if it is God speaking. It's not God speaking. They, they, they I don't know whether to call it a, mis, a misappropriation or a misrepresentation of the spiritual leading. For example, somebody says, I've got a prophetic scary revelation. If not carefully handled, it may lead to disaster. Oh, Jesus, are you really taking me there? Break it down. Break it down. When you say, I see something scary, there's a revelation. God is showing me something scary. It may lead to disaster. My God. Father, give me your word. The Bible says, in the days of King Hezekiah, he was sick unto death. Isaiah the prophet comes to him. He says to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you will surely die and you will not live. This was a bad report, right? Kala Kotia Basunda. Welcome, Rispa. Those who have just joined, welcome. We are, we are talking about evil cancer. We are praying against evil cancer. Grant me indulgence, I think 10 or 15 minutes. I'm even afraid to say how many minutes, but I will definitely be done here. We can't be more than 20 minutes extra because we need to prepare for the next engagement. It was a bad report. But thank God that King Hezekiah had an uprightness about him. He jumped immediately. He sprang into action and he said, God have mercy on me. And the cancel was that the, 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 that evil advice was cancelled. Don't accept evil prophetic words just like that. Somebody comes to you and says, 
there is a bed, you are going to die. I see an accident. And you're shutting, you shut up and you say amen. Guys, I need you to understand when you say amen, what are you saying amen? Do you know what amen is? Amen is so shall it be in Jesus' name. When you say amen, you are agreeing, you are standing in agreement. So somebody gives you a bad report and you say amen. Do you see the fallacy here? We, if it is coming as a warning, we deal with the warning. If I can come to you and show you disaster and tell you, I see an accident coming your way. We are going to pray against it. I don't know if others never received training. Me from my early teenagehood, when I began to realize my giftings, I was taught, I can't just deliver a bad cancer. I have to pray against it. Then I leave it to you. After I have given you the prophetic word, if you don't go and work it and you work against it, you, your belief, your faith is the one that will carry. Me, I bring the warning. And I bring the cancer, I, I will cancel and I will pray against. If you don't believe, there's nothing I can do. Yes, amen. Liz David says, I refuse every evil report. Refuse, you can't receive. I, I see you dying. And you left it at amen. And you walked out of that meeting. And you left it at amen. At amen. The prophet said, they see me dying and I received it. That means you received the death. And you don't go and war. You work that prophecy. You war that prophecy. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I declare I will not die. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my appointed time. My father has called me. My destiny is certain. I have children that I'm raising. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that I will not die before my time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against the spirit of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever it is coming from, from my father's house, from my mother's house, whatever shrine that they have gathered, wherever they have gathered to dug that grave. I will not go into that grave in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not my time to die in the name of Jesus Christ. That is how you work against an evil prophecy. An evil, a warning, an evil warning. You work it. You fight it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are seeing, you are, you, you are looking at, at your loved one who's sitting on the, who's on the bed and they're sick and you don't fight. You don't fight. You say, oh, I accept all the, the symptoms are so bad, pastor. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. I keep on telling you, go, go to you. Listen to those messages until faith wells up inside of you. Until you, you go and you war. If it is indeed that the ticket of the person is out, that God has to take that person, it's time for them to go to heaven and join the ancestors and the angels. It's okay. But not after you've not, if you fight, you fight. Unless the person tells you and says, my baby, I want to let my spirit go now. I want to go rest. I want to join God. If, if they say, no, it's time for me to go. But if they still want to stay in this world, you fight with them. You carry the scepter. You fight. You stand there. I decree and I declare. I stand on the word of God. My God. If you send me a WhatsApp, send me a WhatsApp and say, Pastor, send, send me all the healing scriptures. Go and print them. Place them around. Don't worry about the decoration in your house. Begin to confess these scriptures. Don't say, I don't know. I don't know where to start in the Bible. You refuse negativity. Refuse to fight to, 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 to die. You will fight. My father, I pray the power of resurrection shall avail to you from today. Receive the power of resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Every death pronouncement against you shall be averted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, those in, in TikTok, Mara Official and Fortunel Online. I decree and I declare that every evil pronouncement that said you will die in the name of Jesus Christ, that evil pronouncement is averted. It is de dis distracted, dis annihilated, obliterated, it is burnt up, it is scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. We avert any prophetic declaration of death on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We avert every, we, every prophetic declaration against the death of your loved ones. If it is not God's time to check out, it's not God's time to check out. If you have not decided you are leaving, you are not going in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh my God, protect us against the advice and the counsel of Ahitophel. I don't know what enemies have you've got around you. Hallelujah. You've got a chief enemy and that is Satan. The Bible says in John 10, 10, you've got a chief enemy, the Satan. He says, I've come to kill, steal and destroy. Hallelujah. Exodus 59, 15, chapter 15, verse 9 says, the enemy said, I will pursue and I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My last shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. But God overturned the council. Hmm. Verse 10, God overturned the council. Oh my God. I need to sit on this scripture. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9 and 10. The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My last shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword and my hand and I will destroy them. But verse 10 says the God overturned it. May God overturn the counsel of Ahitophel in your life, in Jesus' mighty name. I hereby decree and I declare, myself and those who are at the sound of my voice, my family in the name of Jesus Christ, we are standing on the promises of God. We are standing on the promises of God. Isaiah 54 verse 15, we are standing on the promises of God. We condemn every satanic gathering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic gathering against our destiny, we condemn you in the name of Jesus Christ. They shall fall for our sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil plan against you shall, shall, shall be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, every evil uh, plan against my family and myself uh, shall be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, those that we have called experts and consultants who are actually evil counselors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, let us be released from evil reports in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether they came from the so-called experts, whether they came from the so-called consultants in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that no evil consultant, no evil expert shall dictate our calling in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever evil pronouncement that they have done, whatever certified death that they said they are coming with in the name of Jesus Christ. You God who reverses the irreversible my God, I see you and I decree and I declare that God, you are reversing that which they said is irreversible. There is nothing you cannot do, my God. Reverse every evil counsel. Reverse every evil counsel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. My God, my God, as you, re you reversed uh, the mourning and the people who had said uh, 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 the, the, the daughter, was it the daughter of Jarius? And, and, and when you came in, oh God, you, you took her by the hand, oh God, and you said, rise up, little girl, hallelujah. My God, my God, I thank you that this morning you have come to rise somebody from their deathbed, uh, from their sick bed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, you have come to raise us up from an evil sleeper, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, let everyone who is mourning, who is trying to distract us, be removed from our counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. Resurrection and life has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, step into my case. The same way you stepped into Jarius's daughter's case. Step into my case in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody declare it with me and begin to call the Lord and say, Lord, step into my case. Step into my family. Step into my business in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, I'm trusting in the Lord of all flesh. You are the Lord over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. You, nothing is too hard for you, my God. I will share my testimony in the month of June and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I, care, I, I pray against evil friends, against the friends that have hidden themselves as good people, but they are actually Ahitophels in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I defeat the counsel of Ahitophel in the friends that I have in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we have a strong legal case. We have a strong legal case. This case shall be won. We have entered the courts of heaven. This case shall be won in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Kadiaba Soto.
You need to understand, child of God, that when you go to a court case, you need a strong advocate. That's why they say people who know that they've got a strong advocate, they know you pay a lot more for an advocate that's strong, right? You need a strong advocate. The Holy Spirit is your advocate. Mm. We need a strong, not only a strong one, but a reliable advocate. For a generational council to be annulled, one needs someone who is the beginning of all generations, who is the Alpha and Omega. If you are going to destroy generational council, generational evil council, you are going to ge destroy generational evil curses. You need somebody who was there at the beginning of all times and the beginning of all generations. Oh my God. For a evil pronouncement to be disproved, one needs a God that only, that only God that will speak and that speaking will make sure that that thing that has been spoken will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil pronouncement that has been spoken, it is currently being reversed by the one when he speaks. Every spoken word comes to pass. I am not a man that I should lie. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must have a relationship with God, child of God. He's the maker of heaven and earth. Make God your ally. By being born again, make up your mind. Don't be confused about all these people that think they know it all and they know it better. Make God your ally. Make God your friend. Be born again. If you've not given your life to him right now, Give your life to him. If you have you have backslidden, right now I'm giving you the opportunity. And say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be the Lord over my life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. You are Jesus. You died for my sins. You rose on the third day and you rose and you are sitting inside my heart. The Holy Spirit has come to live inside of me. I'm free from every curse in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that I'm born again. I'm a child of God, entitled to every inheritance and promise that is in the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. If you have prayed that prayer, say a resounding amen. Put it in capital letters even in Jesus' mighty name. As you have taken this conscious step, Kaliaba Soto Kodiaba, the same step that Jabez took, I pray earnestly and fervently for you concerning your life that no evil counsel or evil report shall prevail against you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not agree or accept any counsel that is evil in the name of Jesus Christ. No counsel that runs contrary to the plans of God shall be received. From today, you walk in the spirit of the third epistle of St. John and where he says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord whom I serve and whose I am and whose I belong is saying I will. it will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. He has reminded me, he says, who is he that saith and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray thee, my God, my God, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. Pray, pray now, say, Lord, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. If some of you know exactly who's the Ahitophel in your life, let God call that name of that person. You don't have to type them here if you are scared of them. But if it is, even if it's your mother or your father, turn, the, turn their counsel into foolishness in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you today as I close. The Lord shall turn every report, every evil report, every evil pronouncement, every utterance, every evil utterance, whatever it is that has been running contrary to your joy. Right now, it is being turned to foolishness in the name of Jesus Christ. After the order of Ahitophel, everyone that works against you, everyone that has been working against your destiny shall die your death in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for everybody that has joined this broadcast this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you have sustained us with your powerful hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for those who of you who are on Facebook and on YouTube as well. Every utterance that I've said today, so shall it come to pass in your life. Every good utterance, every good report. Anything, any word of caution the Holy Spirit has cautioned you about, go and deal with it in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we can rest easy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your sustenance, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. 
any person that is standing in the area of darkness, oh God, send your anger towards them. Anybody who is standing in the darkness of evil counsel, of wicked counsel, my God, send your anger towards them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. You have saved every single person who's at the sound of my voice. You have saved them, my God. Save them from any way that they can be brainwashed. You will not be brainwashed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be brainwashed by bad cancer. The Lord has restored you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every wicked counselor who has offered ill advice to us, even in a dream, oh God, it will not manifest. It will not manifest. Some of you received it in the dream. It will not manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you received it in a dream, you thought it was the Holy Spirit speaking. You will not, it will not manifest. That thing shall not manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, as we have arisen this morning and congregated in fellowship of God, that you have arisen for our sake and you have scattered every wicked counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. Your words will not fall to the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Your words will not fall to the ground in Jesus' mighty name. I want to thank everybody on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much that you have joined us. Because of time, I want to release you. I know that we are all going out um, to evangelize and depopulate hell even more in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil plot has been removed in the name of Jesus Christ. No more bad advice. No more bad advice. Every disappointment. Every disappointment that would have come because of the wicked one, the wicked counsel. Father, let them return them. Let them return home and hang themselves. The same way Ahitophel went back to hang himself, they will go back and hang themselves in Jesus' mighty name. Let disappointment be the share of every wicked counselor. Anybody who has given you wicked advice, whether men or women, whether sibling or, or parent, they shall return home and they will hang themselves in Jesus' name. I know that one might be difficult for some of you to type amen because, yes, we love the people around us. But there are some people that need to shift or you shift from them. You choose in Jesus' mighty name. Our thinking is restored. We are transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. We are ready, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for answered prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Facebook and YouTube. Let me see. Let me see your comments so that I can just greet you as well. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. I love you. I love you. Okay, I can't see the comments. I'm trying to scroll. Okay, let me save time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.